Greetings, this is Matt Fiello, TME with Cisco Cloud Infrastructure Software Group. And today I'm bringing you module three of the Advantage IMM series. We're gonna focus and talk about version 2.01 of the IMM transition tool, brand new version that offers UCS central support, finally. Uh, I know we've had some customers out there waiting for this, uh, this critical support. So uh, I just wanna say that um, this video will pretty much build on the previous video that I did, version one. So for all the newbies out there that have not witnessed the transition tool, don't know much about it, I encourage you to go ahead and watch that first video and then come back and watch this second video. So with that, I'm going to skip some slides. I'm just going to go straight to the demonstration, kind of walk you through, you know, what's changed and uh, what we can do with this exciting new release. So with that, let's go to the demo. Okay, let's look at the demo environment. We have an instance of UCS Central here, and we're gonna use this as our target for the IMM transition. And I also have a, an AirSight SaaS account, uh, a transition account that has basically zero objects in it. So this makes it easier for you uh, to see the objects get populated into this account. So as you can see, there's no pools, there's no policies, there's no server profile templates. And then we have the UCS Tools website, ucstools.cloudapps.cisco.com. And this is where you'll download version 201 um, and see a synopsis and the release notes in the user guide. So let's go back and log in to our transition. Notice uh, on the screen there, you can add an IMM transition, but you also have an icon over here where you can add devices. So you can preload everything in advance. So add a device, and that device could be a UCS manager, could be InterSight account, or a UCS central account. And you can pre-populate this information in, and then it will appear in pull-downs that you can leverage um, to make the transition quicker and easier. Let's go ahead and add a transition. You're going to want to give it a friendly, unique name. I like putting UCSM or UCSC for UCS Central in my transition name so I know which is which. Of course, that second option gives you the option to push to Intersight. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to want to select UCS Central here. Now, you can select an existing if you pre-populated your information, uh, as I talked about earlier, um, or you could add a new UCS Central. Okay, so you got some options here. We're giving you some, some selections. So you can go ahead and uh, put in your uh, what you want for the root org name. I'm going to go ahead and use the UCS Central name. You got some options and some nice mouse overs for uh, tool tips here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, select these options here. VCon placement, uh, if, if, if capable, it's gonna go ahead and accomplish that for you. Uh, change long names uh, if it's greater than 17 characters. Overwrite any existing objects. Of course, there's nothing there, but we can give it the option. And then we have to do this password here. Um, a few of the policies that might convert, okay, um, have the ability to have a password embedded in. Now you also get to choose what you want to migrate. So with the advent of UCS Central and all the possible policies, pools, profiles, etc., cetera, uh, now we have the option to actually choose what we want to migrate. So we're gonna just choose a small subset of what's out there. As you can expect, the, the operational logs are loaded with great detail uh, and that keeps you uh, on track and keeps you uh, informed of where you are. Okay, so let's view the report. Notice, uh, uh, for those who have experience with the previous version of the transition, notice you don't have hardware because you're going against UCS Central. There could be many domains, a lot of different types of hardware out there. So we're just going to look at the logical with the UCS uh, central conversion. Let's go down into the policy, uh, the pools conversion here. Um, let's look at one of the pools. You can see it's giving you a warning there because IMM does blocks of 1000. So it's going to break out 
uh, a block of 1,000 and a block of 24. Um, let's go down to the bias. You can see we get a, a certain token uh, that does not correlate between UCS Manager and, U and IMM, so that would be skipped. Let's go down into the LAN connectivity policies. Uh, we can see that if you're running VIC 1300, which by the way is not IMM capable from a hardware perspective, but that's the Cruise ASIC, and it has this thing called host port, and we don't do that with IMM. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and click next. I've already pre-populated everything, so you can see it's there, but if you didn't, then you can add an account. You can go against Intersite SAS or the appliance. And notice you can download the JSON configuration. So you could actually download that. You could actually use a JSON editor. Uh, you could come in and edit properties within this JSON configuration that you've collected from UCS Central. Okay, you could save that off. And once you've done that editing and saving uh, to like a local file, um, then you could simply uh, upload that uh, to uh, um, the actual transition. You could actually transition the uploaded edited file uh, to Intersight. Okay, so now we're proceeding forward with the, uh, the actual migration in the push. So you want to keep track of the operational logs. This can take uh, a matter of a few minutes for UCSM, or it could take 10, 15, 30 minutes for UCS Central. Just depends on how many objects out there, how many VLANs are out there, how many uh, server profile templates are out there. And uh, so it can vary uh, uh, to, to quite an extent. Notice uh, we've already migrated our pools. You can see a few seconds ago, so we know that these were freshly populated in. And uh, we can go into one of our pools here. Um, notice how it split it out there. You got a, a block of 1,000 and a block of 24. That's just because the max in IMM right now is 1,000. Okay, so we're starting to see some of the policies push. And we're speeding this up um, so that the video does not run too long. So we're at the end. We've got a successful push. The task is completed. It's letting you know there are the operational logs. Click OK. And we actually see that we have a completed transition now. So we go back to our policies and refresh that. You can see we've got quite a few policies, 62 policies. <clears throat> Those policies all service up those server profile templates that we migrated. You can go in and edit a policy, in this case, the LAN connectivity policy. It's kind of neat to do that. You go forward. Uh, notice uh, as part of IMM, you have a graphical VNIX editor, so you can actually see things. Uh, it makes it really helpful if you have multiple adapters and you're, you're, you're steering certain VNIX to certain adapters. So let's go back to our templates. You can see that we have our server profile templates that have been migrated, just the ones that we selected, of course. Now, for domain profiles, notice there's nothing. That's because with UCS Central migration, we're not, we don't know which domain uh, to build a profile for. So in that case, you have to go back and do another transition against the specific UCS domain so that we can grab that fabric configuration and then transform that and push that to Intersight and create a domain profile. So you're gonna to wanna to give it a friendly name. I like using the word fabric, okay? And as we go forward here, uh, we're actually gonna do this against the domain. So UCS Manager, okay, you're gonna pick your, uh, your specific domain. And you'll notice here, you'll see a change versus the prior version of the tool. Okay, you have this fabric policy conversion and server policy conversion. Well, we're not going to do server because we've already done UCS Central. Those objects were all global. Okay, yes, we still have to populate this password. Okay, but we're doing a fabric conversion here. Okay, and you know, for the target org, uh, I want to make sure that this domain profile, this configuration gets built in the same org that I've trans, 
transition. So I'm going to go to Intersight. I'm going to go to my settings here and go to organizations. And you can see I got one here, uh, GV-Prod. Okay, so I'm going to actually use that name uh, and manually type that in here because I want my domain profile to be in that same org. So I have access to it. And uh, I want separate VLAN policies, separate vSAN policies, and separate port policies. So those are options. Um, if, it, if it's applicable and it's the way you want it, you can have separate or you can have the same. Okay, so we're gonna not push that uh, for the sake of time, but we are gonna show another capability and that's cloning an existing transition, okay? So I'm cloning that transition. You can see it's incomplete, but what this gives me is the ability to simply go in and edit. So maybe I'm, can, I'm transitioning templates in phases. So now I'm gonna add in some additional templates uh, that I want to transition up to Intersight. Okay, so I've selected some additional uh, above and beyond templates from the first transition. Okay, and now we're pushing those that second block of, of uh, templates to, to Intersight. So you could use that to edit an existing transition, do things in stages, etc. Okay, and we, we fast track that or we will fast track that um, so it doesn't take so long here for the video. Okay, we're now connecting back to SAS and doing the push. And again, we fast track this. We're coming to the tail end. We've got a successful completion there. Okay, so our clone transition is completed. Let's go back to Intersight. Let's go to those profiles, or excuse me, templates. And we can see that we got all the additional templates that we pushed on the second time. So just a little bit quicker operation to clone and push again, okay to make those edits or make those changes as opposed to starting a transition uh, from scratch. So with that, that completes our demo. I hope you found this to be very informative, very valuable. Please go out there and uh, to UCS Tools website, download version 201, uh, get a simple OVA install in your environment, uh, kick the tires, test it out and use it. It's, it's at the right price point, it's free. So with that, uh, stay tuned for more uh, videos coming down the road. You have a good day. Thank you.